washer dryer sink some other scrap metals busted back window <laughs> yeah he be scrapping In step. Found it in that dumpster a couple houses down this morning. Another trailer. Everything's there. Doesn't seem dry or rotted. The straps, that is. Oh, it's even got the adapter. What? I didn't realize that. It's got the adapter. What?
caver. Easy. Saturday, 5 11, 2019. Scrapyard. Got some of these cast aluminum plates, heat plates. They usually give me a cast price for these. 32 cents last time I checked. Uh, we got a nice thing of clean aluminum going. Yeah. I was gonna grab that uh, old sheet or painted aluminum. Um, extruded aluminum. We got clean brass. Copper two. Cast aluminum. Stainless steel, clean stainless. Cream of the crop. Bright, bright boys. And then this little boy's uh, copper two winding. A few pounds in there. Yeah, a few pounds, about five bucks worth. Well, maybe not five bucks, but. About three dollars worth. There you go. There's a Hello Kitty boy. Clean extruded. It's about time for us to go. Going into work today, but I told him I'm going to be late because I have to hit the scrap yard. Uh, I called off a day last week, so that was about 34 hours. So we need scrap money. We need scrap life for real life. And that's the real life. Let's see what's going on down here. It's been a couple days. Nothing spectacular. Usual junk. Usual junk that you find in these things. A bunch of burnt wood. A bunch of small steel. A bunch of empty beer cans. A bunch of trashed out buckets. You always see that kind of stuff in these things. There's a TV, a flat screen somebody busted out. Somebody took apart a flat screen, huh? All right, no plumbing, no wires. That's what I'm looking for, brass, copper, aluminum. Uh. Since I really don't have a, tr a vehicle at the moment to transport steel, I've been actually giving it away in the alleyways. You know, giving back to the community, the scrappers. I mean, they gotta eat too, man. 
but yeah, the vehicle I bought needs the uh, two front tires and an alignment. And then of course get it plated and insured. Well, we gotta do that first, plates, insurance, or would be insurance plates, and then go get it, tires and aligned. What happened to the Rad Ranger? <laughs> Good question, everybody. I had to sell it. It, I put a hurting on it. <laughs> it was more than just a fuel pump. Uh, sold it fairly cheap. I mean, not real cheap, not like a couple hundred bucks, but to me it was cheap. <laughs> sold it cheap. And uh, like I said, it wasn't a couple hundos. It was, it was more, quite, quite a bit more, but to me it was cheap. And, uh, Man, these guys came out. This guy came out, looked at it with his buddy, and his buddy's all shaking his head yes. So then they come back out with two mechanics on a Saturday and spent like eight hours out there trying to get it to run. He finally got it to turn over a little bit, and the mechanic shook his head and said, yeah, he could work with it. <laughs> they towed it away. He was like, we'll come back Monday and tow it. Is that cool? And I'm like, yeah, it's cool. And I was like, while you're towing vehicles... I got this uh, Windstar that has a bad transmission. You could tow it out free. Clean title. He took it too. <laughs> That's when we were in the process of moving out of that uh, Morristown. Or Fountain Town it was called. Back to Indianapolis. Had to get rid of the vehicle. So, yeah, I sold the truck. Got rid of the van. Gave it away for freebies. Yeah, that's what it is. And then I'll tell you a little bit about my license here in a minute. Because I forgot my excreted aluminum. It was in the back seat. Stainless. Stainless. Oh, I don't want to fill up on too much. I'm going to try to get this grill <laughs> a couple blocks around the way here. Go get this grill around the way a couple blocks over, see if this uh, cart will handle it. It's supposed to go right, but for some reason I want to go straight. We'll go right. We'll do right. Good pussy.